The TK Kirkland Show. Yeah. Trying to save you. Yeah. If somebody use your time, make sure they pay you. Money. Pay attention, really listen. I hope you understand. Yeah. Execute your vision, go and get it. Be a man. Be a man. Save your money, motherfucker, for another Same day. Thing. We got the book and the album on the fucking way. way. This generation is full of hate. Full of hate. Always wearing what the next man make. They, make. they never want to see the next man make it. 2018, let's have a gangster conversation. Like how to treat a woman. Take care of your kids. Gotta take responsibility for what you did. I do it to inspire. Take your mind a little higher. Like her name on a degree. Not her name on a flyer. Yeah, boss moves. We just doing what a boss do. We all now and we off you. It's true. The TK Kirkland Show. Show, 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 show. Oh, <laughs> what's me up, up my, What's up, man? Yeah, you caught me at the right time, taking my ass to the gym, and I was looking through the oh, shit. Man. I ain't never heard so. It's so many women cheating. It's so many women For cheating it. in the world these days. <laughs> oh, nigga, y'all better be single before y'all fuck around. Kill these hoes out here. Hey, man, for real, man. Like, just how your uh, son said, man, like, it's a new age type of woman. Like, you can't be nice to your toes, man. I slipped up. Mm -hmm. I definitely slipped up, man. So what happened? Oh, man. So, um, so like, my uh, girl, like, she was going through some stuff. And, uh, like, I've been single, like, for a while. So right. I got, like, my own spot. Like, I, I got, like, a, um, I got, like, a um, few cars or whatever. So, like, my fault, right. like, she around here like let me step out real quick okay yeah man so like so i tried to help her out by letting her stay with me right okay. everything like it was going good like she liked my fun girl like we always had like a real good time right. but then uh so like some time passed in this past weekend or whatever uh friday night like she ain't come back to the crib and uh i got off work like i texted her she ain't respond, but like I ain't that type of dude like who's staying on top of you. Like if I text you, like you don't hit me back, like that's cool. But then right. like I woke up around three something, like she's still not at the crib. So now like I'm over right. here, like damn, she kind of reckless. So like I thought like she was probably like arrested or some shit. So now like I'm calling right. like, the jails or some shit like that. But then um I wake up at about seven something because I have to go back to work. And then like she texts me and she like, sorry babe, like I was. <laughs> I was at my friend's house or whatever. Of course, I ain't buying it, right? So, like, people still do that shit? Yo, that's yeah, the oldest yeah, shit in the world. Yeah, right, yeah, good. yeah, for real, for real. But, like, here's where I messed up. Or, like, I'm not even sure, like, if I messed up. But, like, uh -huh. I ain't the type of dude, like, to go through somebody's phone. But because I right. had suspicion, I did. Mm -hmm. And I saw yeah. some shit. I just didn't feel like seeing, man. <laughs> But what like, I'm not understanding is why are hoes and niggas recording themselves? Yeah. That's, for that, real. That's, 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 you, you, that, what's the word I'm looking for? You incriminating yourself. That's what you I can incriminate incite. yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, that ain't even how you move. Like, if you're going to do that, because I know, like, we all young out here. Like, if you're going to do some shit right. like that, like, make sure nobody can Nobody find finds out. Right. But like, that shit wasn't even challenged. I was like, this is some bullshit. I was like, God damn. I was like, I... I, I got to hit up TK at this point. I got to. Like, right. I need some advice on how, like, to move. Because, like, you really like my mentor, like, low-key. Like, I ain't really have, like, a father, like, coming up or whatever. Like, I ain't really have no um, guidance. So, like, I had to learn, like, right. the hard way. Like, I had to learn through, like, and sometimes, And sometimes, and sometimes yeah. that's the best way. Sometimes the best yeah. way to go the hard way. But I'm yeah. glad that, um... I'm glad that you reached out, yo. But yeah. I'm gonna let you talk, and I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna tell you how to move. So, okay. So, um, so yeah, like she's in the house right now. Like I just found out, and I right. just kind of laughed to myself because I was like, "Damn, like, this some bullshit." Like I saw it coming, but you know, like when you see something coming, and then like when it comes to um fruition, like it's two different things. Mm -hmm. So, so now like I'm just like in like a weird place, but like I do have to be transparent though. I mean, like, I haven't been, like, the best. Um, I mean, I've been, like, the best lately. But, right. But, like, when we first started back talking or whatever, like, I was still doing, like, my own stuff. But, like, she ain't okay. out about that because I know how to, like, move, like, if it does come to that, you know? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, let me tell you what I'm hearing around the world. <laughs> this is this, and, and, and what makes it interesting is that see, I'm gonna say niggas. We all in that category. Yeah. We do our dirt, but we really like the bitch that we fucking with. Like that's we really true. like her. That is and true. when and when she fucks up, everybody <laughs> in these motherfucking feelings. Like for real. So TK, I need help. But you out here to see that's why in my act I say all you niggas ain't players. Yeah. Y'all think you're players, you play because you got a bitch at home and you get another pussy. But yeah. play is a sign. It's a, it's a sign of mind. Mm-hmm. You gotta be in your. Den. It's not that you're a cold nigger. Mm-hmm. It's just that you understand the rules of the game. See, there's rules to life. Yeah. Like you got to get up in the morning, go to work if you want to mm-hmm. eat. If you want a place to live, you got to have shelter. Well, yeah. to fuck another girl, or to mm-hmm. even be like even if you're a thief and you get caught, you gotta yeah. know what the consequences are, right? Yeah. So your girl sure cheated sure. on you. Yeah, mm-hmm. your girl cheated on you. You said that's your fun girl. She cheated yeah. on you. Now you're in your feelings. So yeah, man. The way the way you yeah. got to move. Mm-hmm. I truly believe this when I say this. Once a woman, and, these, and, and, and life's not fair, but it is what it is. And, <laughs> and, you know, double is a is a, a double standard. All right. A man, a woman can trust a man again faster than a man can trust a female again. And that's the truest shit, man. Because I never been cheated See, a, on before, a, like that. I found out about, you know. Right. So that's See, a, a guy can go out and have another baby, nigga, get cheated. Mm-hmm. A female, some of them, not all of them, will take your ass back. But a nigga, <laughs> that's if true, his girl man. cheat, yeah, if his girl <laughs> cheat, and she get pregnant, ain't no nigga gonna say, "Yo, we are gonna raise the baby together." I love you like that now. It's some niggas out here that will do that. No, like it is some, but like I'm definitely not that nigga. Definitely not. Like that's a right. My point right is, there. do you need this woman for anything? I know you nah. like her, but do you need her? Like, is she is she bringing something to the table? Does she help with bills? Does so she help take care of anybody in your family? No, man. So like the thing is, man. Like I'm doing well, like for myself, man. Like I take care right. of myself. Like I'm doing. I mean, like, I wouldn't even say too well, but, like, I'm doing well, like, to the point where I can take care of other people. And it's not that, okay. like, I do, but, like, right. I'm just saying that to, to say, like, I don't need nobody, honestly. Right. But, like, it's you know what? like a comfort thing more so. Like, she just caught me. Yeah. Sick, really. And see how, just let me tell you how men are who get successful. Yeah. We want to fuck this. with a bit. We want to fuck with a bitch that ain't got her shit together. Like, it's a <laughs> It's, a, it's like you're being in control in a sense, right? Like you need, yeah. you need money to get your yeah. hair done. You need, exactly. you need this, you need that. Especially you got a nice fatty. Exactly. It's something. It's something about broke <laughs> bitches, though, that's sexy than a motherfucker. <laughs> if they sexy. It's something hey, about a broke, sexy <laughs> bitch, nigga. As you can tell, why that's the truest shit, man. Like I was. That's some real life. shit, yeah. That's the truest shit. Like when I was going back to like the messages, I had to cross preference like the messages and it seemed and it was like the same day like she was um with old dude like i was at town right um and um i saw like in the message i gave her like some money so that she could um afford something like something happened or whatever right and i was like damn like that's some crazy shit like i'm over here like extending like my arm like to somebody who like needs my help right not vice versa like it's like damn like what's wrong with me assisting like these broke women but I mean, I don't know. Like, it's just crazy, man. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, it, and, and the thing that, you know, and the way, depending on how you are, how she respond, you can say to her, yo, I know you fucked around, but you know what you got to do? You yeah. got to have a fed mentality. Let me say anything what that is. Okay. See, in, in a state crime and a federal crime, state, the state will arrest you on the smallest thing. And give you okay. thirty, sixty to eight, six months. But the yeah. feds build a the feds build a case against you. They mm-hmm. watch you forever and build a case and then when they come, they got this, 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 that, yep. and they got you on lock, right? Yep. So with her, just build a case against her. Keep fucking her. Have a good time. Know in the back of your mind. But now you gotta be careful when you fuck her and now the 
don't know the other nigga that she fucking in if he got anything. No, nah, that's true shit, man. Shit, like, especially, like, yeah, where like, I stay at, man, like. Right. That she eases a motherfucker around this part of town, like, for real. No, like, that's yeah, some true you, shit right there, man. Yeah, you don't know, you don't know the other nigga got something. You, and let me tell you, dog, I know in this, around this world, it's a lot of niggas who's on the low. Bitches yeah, tell me about like, these that's what, all the time. That's what I was going to say, man. Like, in my city, man, it's it's a lot of down low dudes. Like, the girls be thinking it's straight, but they really be fucking right. niggas down low. Yep. And, like, that's Real where, talk. like, this shit mainly come from, man. Right. Yep. So now, yeah, huh? now, if you don't need it, you can let her go. Yeah. You can always meet another female, fam. Yeah, true, 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 true. Like, I know it. I'm being honest. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's hella You can always meet. You can always meet. Remember, you know her what I say? It's always there's a group of college bitches graduating in June. <laughs> hey man, she just Damn graduated man. in June, man. Like I need it. Like I need like the class of uh, 2019 college bitches, man. Yeah. So what you do now is if you really like her, take her out to dinner on some yeah. fly shit, yo. Yeah. Fuck her, and right when she wake up, fuck her good. Like fuck her good, yo. Yeah, like next level stuff, so you. Yeah, and then while you're sitting there having a drink or whatever, and just look in the eye and say, listen, I know when you was out of town, I know you fucked homeboy, and, and, and hit him with this. And, and and I ain't mad at you. Yeah. I ain't mad at you, but I, I'm really feeling you, and today, this shit got to stop. And you're going to make a choice. I'm going to give you a chance uh, to make a choice. I I'm mean, but... You tell her. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Go, go. Okay. So yeah, like it, 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 I tell her, mm-hmm. that, but like how like I'm built, I I can't be with her. So like I I, I okay. tell her that. Okay, and that's like, it. I no, 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 no. Right. Let me cut. Let me let me hit you with something now. I threw all these options, but I didn't ask you what you wanted to do. Oh god. So now that I know what you want to do, you don't want to be with her. Then let her go. Like you know, back in the day, nigga, I used to put bitches out. <laughs> back in the and day, I would leave bitches. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, I would leave bitches at an airport, dog. Damn, I had the airport. <laughs> nigga, a bit, I went on a trip, and a girl cheated on me and and got a nigga number that's my nigga. And oh, I found damn. out, yo, we got, dress, we got dressed that morning. We went to the airport, and I said, listen, I'm going to take the rental car back. I'll be right back. Awesome fly shit. I left that bitch right there. Me and that bitch still friends to this. Me and that bitch still friends to this day, though. Yeah. Cause see, back when I was young, I'm sorry to interrupt. Back when I was young, my goal was teach bitches a lesson. Yeah. See, that's where I was at. Yeah. Like, women have been scandalous for a long time, and yeah. we always think it's we always think it's niggas. Mhm. We always think it's the niggas that's fucking up. But these hoes is fucking up. I got I got a a female friend that's a doctor, and she be um um giving bitches medicine for contaminated pussy every other day. Damn. I'm not bullshitting you, yo. No, nah, man, I believe you, man. I believe you, man. Like a lot of and it's a doctor. Bad. Yeah. I it's so you. many women coming in with stink pussy. It's insane. Mm-hmm. It's because they letting all these niggas nothing. Like, that's all and is, what's man. crazy is what women don't think about is they try to do what niggas do, but I yeah. always say you end up short. Because what women don't think about, one, that most women don't keep their their sex dates. This is why the wor- some of the part of not everything. This is the reason why some of the world is fucked up because bitches don't know who they fucking and know who the daddy is. Because bitches yeah. don't know how to put in three, four, seven days a week before they fuck the next nigga. Like, you got to have separation yep. between when you fuck a nigga to cover your ass, right? No, the other for thing real. That females don't th- the other thing that females don't think about is stink pussy, but the most severe is mm-hmm. cervical cancer. See, because when, like, if me and you was fucking a girl, yeah, what's in your sperm and what's in my sperm is different type of bacteria, right? Yep. And all this contaminate a woman's pussy. Mm. Now, a lot of women also don't know that when they do cheat and they pussy stank and they got a nigga, guess what? That man 
starts getting bacteria in his DNA in his penis. So no, even though true. she goes, yeah, even though she goes get, she goes to get fixed. Guess what? He still has it in him. So both couples yep. have to go get flagyl or doctor cyclin. Mm-hmm. Because flagyl and doctor cyclin clears out the bacteria in your body. Yeah. But there's a lot of men, a lot of women here walk around in their blood system with that type of bacteria in their body because they are here fucking and all, you know, you don't see these other type of minerals and chemicals and um, 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 cells in the world. But there's a yeah. lot of cells in your sperm, a lot of bacteria in your sperm. So people getting fucked up right here and it hits you at a, at a, um, at a later age. And I'm glad that you brought this up and call, hit me yeah. because I want people to understand what they have to do to prevent this because it's, it's really it's really a crisis out here, man. You guys are – but the thing also, when you like these girls, man, y'all got to give a girl like an understanding. You yeah. got to explain to her. See, because most men, when they approach a female – you don't have a platform. You gotta have a platform when you meet a woman. You so what you mean by platform? Stand. See, you gotta have something that you stand for, right? You gotta tell yeah. not not even just a platform. You gotta have intentions. A yeah. man has to let a woman know his yeah. intentions. So that yeah, way man, she I knows agree the book. Like, I definitely agree. Mm-hmm. With that. Like I definitely agree. Yeah, with like, that. like hey like, baby, you know I'm feeling you. Like mm-hmm. hey babe, I'm feeling you. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm. This is what I want to do with you. Now, yeah. sometimes that scares women. Sometimes bitches get scared when you know what you want out of life. Yeah, man, like it scared like the wrong <laughs> women, man. Like it scared the wrong right. women. Like you're right about right. that, though, man. Mm-hmm. Like you're right about that. Man, I was just saying, like, I always make my um, intentions known. Like it was just that, like, with this one girl in particular, like she just caught me slipping, man. Like I've been. Man, when you, now for, like, when you say caught slipping, when you say caught you slipping, what do you mean? So, like. For, like, the past few years, man, like, I've been going in, like, I mean, like, fucking hella bitches, living right. life or whatever. So, like, at this point, like, I just found myself reflecting, like, and just trying to, like, chill out. And it just so uh-huh. happened that she came in, and she's, like, really cool. Like, she matches, like, my personality. Like, she's just an easy person to talk to. Right. Like, she gives me what she call peace of mind. But right. she's just a hoe, apparently, like. And no, no, no. That, that, that's a, I'm gonna say. I'm saying to you why she may not be a hoe. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Why not? How old is she? Twenty-four. Yeah, she's not a hoe. A hoe is a woman who has gone through all her life experiences, and she's still doing the same shit. What your girl is doing is, is exploring life. Like I would never date a woman in her twenties. Never. Yeah. Gotcha. She don't know who she is. She don't know what she wants to become. She okay. has to go through all. Yeah, she has to go through all her life lessons to okay. make her a woman. She won't become okay. a woman. She she will be approaching womanhood about thirty, thirty one. But she a college graduate. Yeah. She out here enjoying life. Yeah. And you you fell you fell in love with her, but you fell in love <laughs> with a person that's too young and, and that's too young. to be a man. Yeah. To be a man, you got to look at her and say, you know what? I'm glad that I had a page in your life, yeah. and I just really wish you the best. And you keep it moving. But that's okay, what, she's okay. not a host. Yeah, okay. she's, a, she's just enjoying life. And all women, I'm being honest with you, all women in their 20s should date and enjoy themselves, but they should have their shit together so she wouldn't be in your home because that's yeah. disrespectful. Yeah, like that's where like the yeah. issue come from. Like I'm over here helping you right. out. Like I'm letting like a helping hand or whatever. Like you doing this, it's probably like a bum dude. Like I don't even know really, but it's just like it's it's, that's it's like probably a bum from. dude. Like, <laughs> like that's where the issue comes from. But man, yeah. like, I appreciate the advice, man. Like it's actually crazy. We actually went together to see your show one time, and like she's the one who right. actually put me on with you. So like right. it's actually kind of crazy, but like. You right, like she's not like a hoe, man. Like I don't knock her. Like she is young. Like I know, like how it is. Yeah. But it's just, yeah. I'm, I'm still deciding, like how I should go about doing it. Like if I should take her out, like and 
Christine and talk it out, like if I should just have her shit out, like do it like the TK way, <laughs> jump up at the air. Yeah, because I'm shit. <laughs> yep. Cause I'm, and I'm telling you how I move. Yeah. I'll put a bit, I'll put a bitch out. I, mean, I like to make shit dramatic so a bitch can remember shit for the rest of her life. Same here, man. So, like, how about this, man? Like, how about, uh uh-huh. cause, like, she get off work late tonight. Like, she ain't into her, um, career quite yet. So, like, how about this? Right. Like, how about, like, I, um, how about, like, I have, like, some, uh, massage shit set up, some wine, like, we get, drunk and shit, watch some movies, and then after that, like, I'm just, I come clean, I'm just like, look, like, I know, like, something ain't been right lately. Uh, mm-hmm. like, you want to tell me, like, what's up, and see how, like, she responds to it. And, uh, take no, it ain't there. nobody like, got time that? for that. Nah, pack her shit. <laughs> <laughs> pack her shit. You know, who? who's close to her? Uh, she, like, her I mean, where, like, where, where can she go if you put her out? I I guess to her mom's. I guess to her mom, but like they ain't got no space up there though. Okay, but do you know where her mom lives? Yeah. Yo, I'm gonna tell you how to do this. Pack her shit. Oh shit. <laughs> take right. it to UPS or FedEx. Okay. Send this shit to her mother's house. Okay. Call her at work. Damn, that's cold, all right? And say, yo, listen, I know what the fuck you did while I was out of town with the nigga. I ain't <laughs> mad at you, but I can't, I can't fuck with you no more. Yeah. I sent your shit to your mother's house, and don't come to my motherfucking house or I'm gonna press charges. Oh, that's some cold shit. Yo, that's the way you pull it. I'm telling you. And I, you know, normally on my shows, you that's know, I try to get shit. great positive advice, but today. I feel like being T to the motherfucking, motherfucking chest. <laughs> and 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 I'm sorry that it's this way, but it has to be this way. Mm. And, and and today we teaching people all over the world. Yeah, this is what the fuck happened. If it was and it was the other way around to niggas who cheat on their girl. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna tell females to start doing. Pack the nigga shit. And put his punk ass out. Because if she's in the house and she's taking money from you, at yeah. least you know the next time she meet a nigga and that nigga look out for her, yeah. she will not fuck up. I'm going to tell you a story real quick. Yeah, man. Go ahead, man. I met this girl out of New Orleans about eight, nine years ago. I met in Atlanta. Girl sucked my dick as soon as I met her. We went to a restaurant. I mean, we just really had a great morning. Yeah. So, you know, when I like you, I might fly you in town or you meet me here, blah, blah, blah. So I'm in Vegas, and I never really let anybody meet my daughter. My daughter was young then. My daughter was like four years old. She's 15 yeah. now. Yeah, like four or five. So we're walking down the Las Vegas Boulevard, my baby feet, my baby feet hurt. Yeah. So she said, Daddy, can I take my shoes off because my toes? I said, yeah. But the female said, nah, that's ghetto, blah, blah, blah. Like, this is our first date. <laughs> and you ain't going to tell me how to roll with my baby. Not for real, though. So I ain't say nothing. Uh-huh. So as we're going back, she wanted to get something to eat. She wanted to go to Ruth Chris. Now, mm-hmm. Ruth Chris is a place, good place to eat, but I didn't want to spend all that money at the time. I didn't want to go spend two, $300 at Ruth Chris to feed three people because you have been to Ruth Chris, is real expensive. Is that so, like, is this in New Orleans? Is is this here? It's like, in Vegas now. Oh, it's oh, in Las Vegas. Vegas, gotcha. Yeah, it's in Vegas. So I didn't really want to spend that kind of money. Well, I don't know. I probably had it, but I just didn't want to do that. So I told my daughter that uh, I'm going to take her home. But I saw her out back on Las Vegas Boulevard. Yeah. And I said, hey, why don't you go in there and get us a table? And because I know it's packed, I'm going to take my daughter home. I'll be right back. Yeah, I dropped off as I'm driving with my daughter. I said, Trinity, I said, you make sure you always keep money with you because you never know how a man might feel if you say something crazy, right? Yeah. So I took my daughter home. I got the bitches suitcases, put it in the <laughs> trunk of my car. I drove up to Outback. I drove up to Outback. 
I took yeah. her bag and left it on that that bench. You know that bench that's always in front of our back? Yeah, man. I put all her shit on that bench. Damn. I called her. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I called her in the car. I said, look, bitch, don't you ever come in my motherfucking life and tell me how to run shit with my motherfucking daughter. You got me fucked up. No, it's true why shit, the girl though, come huh? to my house? Yeah, why the girl come to my house later in the cab crying, talking about, oh, I'm sorry, um, um, please give me a chance, but I'm a man who believes in setting an example. Now, I already yeah. put the female out. I can't let the woman back in after my daughter has seen this shit. Yeah. You know, so I said, nah, I can't do it. Like, you crossed the line. And I'm not gonna have that, you know. Not not when it comes to my kids, yo. No. Nah. Not when it comes to my baby. Not so, I, but me and that girl that I put on that bench, yeah. that shit on that bench, me and her still friends to this day. So like I see because what she saying, knew man. she was wrong. Mm -hmm. Yep. She knew and she I, was wrong. Now this same girl, even though she's gonna be mad today, <laughs> she gonna respect you. Yeah. She's going to respect you later and remember you for the rest of her life. Yeah, and man. Like I'm what a... we're going to do. Okay, man. I fuck with it, man. Yeah, like I'm all... You got to do it, fam. Yeah. Yeah, like I fuck with it. Because, like, you're right, man. Like, it's about folks learning, man. Like, everybody has to learn something, like, from somebody. And if I don't teach you, like, you're right. Like, it's going to be, like, the same shit. It's going to be the same shit, man. It's gonna be like, the same crazy. Shit, yeah. yeah, it's gonna be the same. Like that's crazy, man. So that's how I gotta mm -hmm. move. Yeah, and you gotta be tough, my nigga. You appreciate it later. Oh yeah, man. Like I know, like I will, man. Like it's just crazy. Like this shit fresh, man. Like just like an hour ago. Like <laughs> probably less than an hour. Oh, ago. Like, okay. Right before. Right, yeah, started. yeah. Like as soon as, like as soon as this shit happened, I was just like, damn. She like I ain't been calling my friends because like shit. Like I ain't like that type. Uh, right. Like, Damn, yeah, you don't want you don't like, you don't all, you don't want you don't want people always in your business. No, nah, man, never, never, man. Like I'm real low key, real low. Key. Right. You know. So that, I think that's the best way to do it. But take it on the chin. <laughs> Remember, you supposed that's to crazy. teach them up. Like, hey, nigga, you know I keep it one hundred. Nah, for real, like you do, man. I keep one hundred. I, I I don't play. Yo, know, the young lady. You're yeah, probably gonna hear yeah. this shit. <laughs> we hope, we, yeah. And, and, and yeah, like, that's hear gonna it make hard, it funny. Yeah, like that's gonna. Yeah, young lady, I told he didn't want to do it, <laughs> but I told him I, I had to. I had to teach you a lesson because you we saving your life in a sense. You know, it's no, see, what people don't know about my shows. It's levels of lessons in my shows. Yeah. Like even when you when you listen to my show and you can't hear the person well, that's a lesson, and that lesson is sometimes shit is difficult in life, so mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta bear with it to get through it because you're still gonna get the message. Well, today this young lady is gonna get put out, but she'll remember and know how to manage her pussy for the rest of her life because hoes and niggas, everybody out here just winging shit without a plan, without structure. That's true, man. You know, and that's why, to everybody listening, you got to get the hottest hip-hop comedy album of the year, October 26th, yo. It drops. It drops. I, listen to me, fam. When I tell you I put something together so cold, matter of fact, the radio starts playing it, Around the country, October first. Oh man, that's After, crazy. Yo, when this when this hit the streets, <laughs> I swear to you, fam, it's that fire. No nah, man, I believe and it, the, man. Yeah, the album's called Gangster Conversation, the double comedy album. Like it's a double album, and what I mean by that is normally uh, an album's like thirty minutes. But what I did was. I made over an hour or something because it's a two-part series to this album. Yeah. It's a two-part series, but nigga, people, y'all going to be able to play this in your cars. Y'all going to be driving with the beat. Oh. Y'all ain't going to uh, be able to leave a nigga pull something off like this, yo. 
Oh, it's man, that I that's it, man. Like, i seen you in person, man. Like, as soon as I've seen you, I said, yeah, like, he's speaking my language, man. Like, it's a different breed, man. Like, how you be talking. Right. Like, it's a different yeah, breed, man. Right. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, and, man, I know and what, and what we're talking about now is similar to some stuff in the album. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> oh, man, brother. <laughs> Woo! I mean, you pre on this bitch, man. So you know, yeah. with, with all that, I got the I got a cartoon coming out next year. I got my special coming out October twenty sixth as well. My the book Netflix is dropping special. October. Yo, that motherfucker, cold, yo. I got um baby in it from Cash Money Minute. You know, me me and baby is tight. Yeah. So you know, we started out together. Well, I didn't start out with him, but when he blew up, yeah, me and him was hanging. Me, him, Lil Wayne, and all them. So. Like in the beginning of the, um, I'm, I'm telling the whole country what's going on. In the beginning of the special, you see me and Baby talking, um, and then Little Wayne comes into the picture, and then we got 12 black, okay. black on black, with a police escort, sprinters going to the show. Oh, when that's get cold. to the show, it's like about, it's about maybe... 70 to 100 niggas outside. All of us iced up. Hey, damn, niggas. I'm picturing this shit right now, man. That's just a hard Yo, deal, man. And we all oh, walk hard. into this motherfucker together. Damn. We all walk shit, into man. this motherfucker together. Oh, homie. I'm, I'm, I'm smiling right now. <laughs> this shit is fine. Oh, my God. Put it like this. No comedy special ever. It's going to look like this. Okay, I fuck with it. That's the point. That's the difference. Now, jokes are jokes. It. But the way but the way I set it up, because I direct I, see, I, I, I direct all my shit. I, I produced my album. I co-produced it with my friend, yeah. YZ. I, yeah, wrote, like um, I wrote, yeah, I wrote most of it. Like, a lot of people don't know I do all this shit. Like, yeah. manage, produce, write. I do all mm -hmm. that shit, yo. And then I'm going to start working on another movie in about a year. But every year, I try to do something to elevate my game yeah. that inspires me. So that's the stuff that I do. So I'm excited about what's going to happen towards the end of the year. But right yeah. now, with you and this young lady, yeah, I'm excited. No, I'm, man, excited I'm excited too, to man. I'm excited too, man. Like, I actually needed this, man. Like, I kind of got off focus, man. Like, I'm a real focused person. And, like, okay. And, like, a girl, and like, she's really distracted. She's a like, distraction. Yeah, but, like, ain't even, like, a bad distraction. But, like, for me, like, I have, like, aspirations out this world, man. It's like, I need all my focus. All of yeah. it. So, like, See? Not... No. Any dis I'm sorry to interrupt. Any no, distraction. Any distraction is a distraction. Yeah. See, and to all you young men out here that's working hard, I don't give a fuck you work at a, a um, athletic company or Chrysler or your bus driver. When you're trying to get money, you can't have no bitch or no man or no nigga knock you off your focus. For it, real. Here's the thing. You know, if niggas didn't fuck and girls didn't give up pussy or whatever, Niggas yeah. will have a better life. Hey, for real. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the truest shit. <laughs> yeah, niggas have a good that's life. See, when you're not fucking, you think you're missing something. And I try yeah. to figure out what God was doing, right? Like, <laughs> like was he testing motherfuckers because this pussy has fucked up niggas' lives. Hey, man, it's a curse, man. Like, it's a beautiful curse. From more, they, they trying to get Morgan Freeman. Ain't that shit crazy, man? Like you seen like they the trying to lock up. Yeah, no, no, I ain't see what happened. Hey, so like she was on CNN and she said that she um claimed that she had footage on camera of him making advances towards her. And if you right. see like the video, it's not even remotely close to it. Like it's just ridiculous, man. Like if you have a second, like check it out. Like it's almost. Like, it's, it's almost funny, but, like, it's so sad because, like, it's another black icon that they're trying to take down. So, like, it's like, damn. 
Like it's he was just being flirtatious, right? No, no, man. Like he wasn't even flirting with her, man. Like I can't even like explain it. Like he was responding to the guy next to him, and for some reason she thought that he was making advances towards her, and it was ridiculous, man. Like ridiculous, like. And see, and this was going on with society. Let me tell you about society. Yeah. Even it's something in the air. <laughs> That everybody has gotten motherfucking sensitive. Hey, for it's, real though. For it's something real. in the air that men ain't shutting shit down. Don't get me wrong, ladies. I think if a man try to take pussy or hurt you, try to fuck you, yes, you should go to take that motherfucker to trial and lock his ass up. Yeah. But if a nigga saying I want to eat your pussy, if a nigga saying to you I want to, I want you to suck my dick one day. But that ain't a, a reason to take a nigga to court. And yeah. also, see, we all was something. Like, I was a gangbanger. I would crack you upside your motherfucking head. Yeah. I would rob you. I would do all this while I'm in college. Yep. I'll be in college hopping my motherfucking car and go pull a move and come back yep. and be back for my oh, next man. class. My point my point being is this. I'm ashamed that I was that kind of man, right? Mm hmm And my point is we grow and we want to do better in life. We want to do better in life. We want to get our lives together. We don't want no confusion. And most of these men who probably did some of these things 30 years ago, yeah, they're probably ashamed of it. Yeah. They're probably ashamed of it. But these women are going back 30 years. I'm not saying take it on the chin, but if you didn't handle it 30 years ago. Yeah. See, most of these bitches is broke. And most That's of these true. bitches going to be in a, most of these bitches going to be in a shelter in 15 years. Yeah. Because they mismanaged their pussy. They didn't save their money right. And the, the reality it's creeping in. They got gray hair on their yep. pussies now, so they shaving that. <laughs> a lot of bitches they ain't got two thousand dollars in their account, and they not even, and they over forty. So and reality kicking in. Yeah. Reality kicking in like a motherfucker. So they trying to get it any way they can. You don't see them hoes doing that shit to no street nigga. Nope. See, I'm one. I would never approach a female like that. I ain't never took no pussy in my motherfucking life. And if I did, definitely. I guarantee you, I, I guarantee you, if I did, I was 12 or 13 years old, and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. But as an adult, I ain't never took no pussy. But you yeah. ever let, you ever hear a bitch say, you ever even travel in the world, and you see on the news, um, female <laughs> claims T.K. Kirkland did X, Y, and Z, I guarantee you in 24 hours, you will never hear about that shit again because the bitch is going to be disappearing. <laughs> like, one thing, I don't play, yo. Like, I, I'm quiet in my in my twilight years. I'm a quiet nigga. Yeah. But you bring that nigga out, you bring that nigga out of me, that's why I'm calm. See, because the system pretty much has broken me down, right? Yeah. You know, I've been in court mostly my whole life yeah. trying to be a comedian fighting cases because I always had money to fight the case. I never did no prison time, but I okay. did. I fought cases for over 20 something years doing dumb shit. I've been on probation over 20 years, yo. Five That's years crazy. here, five years there. Like I started getting in trouble at 21. I didn't stop getting in trouble until I was 42 years old. That's so crazy. when I'm out here in the world, if the speed limit 55, I do 47. Okay. okay. Like, I don't want no problems. <laughs> so, like, if somebody just brings some problems to you, like, you ain't having it. Like, I agree with that. Man. No, I'll, 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 I'll act like I'm a punk, yo. I swear to God. I would, I would turn the cheek and you could call me sister. <laughs> so you five, really ain't what no <laughs> Hey, like, you really passed that point, man. Like, you really just like, man, that's some bullshit. Like, I ain't got no time. Because I know, yeah, because, see, I know the consequences. Yeah. See, one, 
to everybody who's listening who think they tough or whatever, one, they got a place for you. Yeah. Which is jail. They got a place for you. Two, yeah. most of the niggas that's listening to this show, money ain't right to fight a case. That's money ain't right to bail out of jail. That's true shit right there. Right? See, if your thing. money ain't right, if your money ain't right in anything, you pretty much can't do a lot. But if you're trying to be tough, and you're in trouble, and you got to call your homie or your mother or your uncle or your aunt to bail you out. Nigga, yeah. you ain't really no fly nigga. No, you're not, and man. Three, right, three, and three, when you approach these women, your money got to be right. What's the, what's the purpose of a nigga approaching a female and you can't do nothing for her? Hey, man, I agree with that, man. Like, I hold yeah, you're going to meet a female... And start arguing because she might need forty dollars. She might want to go to a movie. She might want to go to the game. Yeah. She might want to go to motherfucking Fiji Islands or Aruba for the holidays. Yeah. And you can't and you can't do nothing for her. So what the fuck to the people's listening to the females listening? What the fuck are y'all together for when you can't do nothing for each other? I don't get it. I mean, that's the truest shit, man. Yeah, I don't get it. And I'm going hard these next couple months on people. Because when I out, when that motherfucking album drops, I'm going to sure to get it. <laughs> See, I've, been, I've been nice for a minute, but now I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to drop that key to the motherfucking K on the world. Hey, you said gangster conversation on the way, man. I got to feel that, man. Yeah, gangster conversation that, on the way. Yo, when you start packing your girl shit, make sure you take pictures of it. Like, you, know, you put it in a little thing, <laughs> take pictures. Uh, no, you, seriously, you want to keep it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you hey, man, I didn't even think about that shit, but that's some funny shit, man. Look, like, I put that, like, in my photo album, man. I put that in my uh, Yeah, yeah, you want to keep man. it. Yeah, you want to you wanna keep that shit, you know? <laughs> And I guarantee you, she'll get her life together from now on. Yeah, man. That, that's some crazy shit. <laughs> call me back Call me back later, yo, after you do it. You going to do it today or you don't think shit. you're going to do it? I'm curious to nah, see man, what your mind is. No, nah, man, look, like, I want to do it today. Like, I'm going to take some pictures. I'm going to send it to you. How about that, man? So yeah, send it to me, yo. Too. Like, you want a good laugh today? But I'm going to give you a good laugh, man. Yeah, send that shit to me, my man. Send that shit to me, for real. <laughs> You know, and do a five second video like this. Like, close my hair. <laughs> uh, I'm taking a shit. I'm uh, taking a shit. I'm putting it in the bag. I'm doing this. And to everybody listening, I know y'all like, yo, TK, that's cold. But this is what happens <laughs> if your man or your girl calls me, I'm going to tell them what to do. In the purest form. To all the people listening from around the world, from Japan to Compton, California, to Oakland, to motherfucking Dallas, Texas, to Houston, to Atlanta, Philadelphia, New York City, my hometown, New Jersey City, New Jersey, to my peoples up in, uh, my boy Cheddar up in motherfucking Boston, to my man down in Turks and Caicos, you know who you are, to all the beautiful women living in this country, and to, to the women who got their shit together. May your pain be champagne. This is T to the motherfucking K, the TK Kirkwood Show. Send them pictures to me later, fam. I'm going ahead and get a massage. Shit, man. Take care of business, man. Be good. Appreciate you, fam. Talk to you soon. Yes, sir. Uh. This episode of the TK Kirkland Show was produced by Chris Thomas, executively produced by Charlemagne the God. This is an official Loudspeakers Network production. Speakers Network production. Speakers Network production. Speakers Network production. Speakers Network production.